Okay, so this is gonna be everything about flight gear, everything you need to know to take off, to land, to get out of the plane, the whole deal. So we're gonna start with taking off, and I'm gonna walk you through taking off manually and automatic. So first we're just gonna do an automatic start. And I'm pressing V to switch views because these are takeoff and chase view for me. I don't know if it's the same for you, but it helps me stay straight on the line. So, and then you can just go to your plane, which is in this case the Cessna C-17 2P. Might be different for other planes, but it's the same concept. So, all of them do have an auto start, I think. I haven't really experimented with that many, but the ones I've seen do have an auto start. So, if you click on the auto start. We'll start your plane. You can use zero on enter, zero and enter on the right side of your keyboard, and page up to give it more throttle. Slowly increase your throttle. Use zero and enter to stay on the middle line. I wouldn't use flap. Use the flaps to try and lift off. I would just go straight and build up enough speed that you can take off. And my computer isn't the best computer, I'm actually trying to do this on a laptop because it has my video recording software on it, so it's, and plus I have my recording software in the background, so it's making this thing live real bad. Just keep using page up, and eventually you're going to take off, I think I've already taken off, yeah I have, so that's how you take off, that was a terrible take off, oh no. That was a terrible takeoff because I didn't. I guess it was already shifted to the right when I when I took off. So right now I'm just trying to get back straight, but you get the concept. And so next we want to actually how to manually start the engine. Start with OBS while flying. So it's giving it bad lag. So I'm sorry if I don't. If I don't do what they found it, trying to I record this a few times now, just see if I can. Um, hoping that this lag will kind of go away, but it hasn't yet. So yeah, I'm just hoping. So what I did here was put the mixture all over. 100, it doesn't need to be, but that's just what I do so I don't have to worry about it later. Put the power up to 15, so it has something to do when it starts. Use 3 primer, turn the magnetos to both, and then make sure my feet pedals are lined up so I don't go off course when I start. Okay, and this, the uh, flight control should be perfectly lined up. If it's not, then your plane is going to go out of control. Hold down S. And that will start your engine. Now I'm going to go into chase view so I can get a good takeoff. And if you have a faster computer, this should load a lot faster. I recommend those that you have a good amount of RAT, RAM. I was about to say lag. No, you don't want to do that like you want a good amount of RAM, probably at least 16 gigabytes, and a good graphics card. My computer, my computer doesn't have a very good graphics card, which is why it's taking a lot of lag. Plus, if you're recording while trying to do fight here, it just does not work well. So, yes. Lagging, and the lag is why it's pushing on quite a bit. Okay, so stay on the center runway, use page up and page down to control your throttle. I'm starting on a low throttle just so that it doesn't push me off course at the beginning. But if you try to put too much throttle in at once, it does not end well. And it starts going off course, and that's hard to control. A good rule of thumb is just follow the white line. 
car off slow because it's hard to take off and bike here. And be very careful about how much throttle you're putting. Just do press page up once when you feel like you've got good control of the airplane. Like right now I don't have very good control, which is why I want to fly line for a bit. bit. So Keep, keep increasing the throttle, stay on the white line. I'm trying to. And don't really do your flaps up or down because I think personally, right now, there's enough. There's enough uh, lift that you'll make a decent. Um, decent takeoff without needing to change the flaps at all. Like right here, we got ourselves a beautiful takeoff. So, yeah. That's how you manually take off. And I'm trying to not um, to not crash here. So yeah, so I've successfully taken off. Pretty successful anyway. So, yeah, that's how you take off, and it's fine, great, so I'm um, excited to do anything wrong. So, if you follow these exact instructions, then you should get a pretty good takeoff. If not, try again, um, and remember to make small movements, don't try to turn really fast, and don't pull down buttons, just like you're super sensitive, and don't mess with your flaps, because it's going to make your plane not kick off. When you're flying, this is the tip for flying. When you start to turn, you're going to turn a little bit if you just move the plane, but if you use the elevator, zero and enter, then you're going to get a bigger turn. So if your turn's not big enough, use zero and enter to nudge the wheel. There's about a 90 degree turn. And then you want to level back out. Which time I'm doing that at, but there you go. Okay, so this is landing, the, the, the runway is to my right quite a bit, it's lagging so much that it's becoming hard to control, so I'm trying to do my best to line it up with
miss the runway entirely, so I'm pointing my nose up a little bit so that I don't uh, go too fast down the runway and then end up crashing. And we're missing the runway entirely. But maybe we can do this, maybe, maybe. Come on. We're lined up again. Here we go. We're gonna make this. My throttle should be all the way down now. Here we go, right now, right now, come on. Oh, 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 here we go. Did we make it? We made it. That's how you land in Fight Gear. We have made it. So there you go. If this helps, like and subscribe. Okay. So this is the final part. And as I was going back and seeing what I was editing and seeing what I could do, um, put some music in this, so that would be nice. But also in the middle, there is a section where it just cut out. I guess because it couldn't handle flying and recording at the same time. So, sorry about that. No, I didn't really say anything important, I don't think, in there. So, yeah, sorry about that. I don't think I can do anything about that now besides the recording not taking me way too long. It was hard to get one that didn't lag as much as those ones did. As much as, well, as little as those ones did. So, anyway, this is the part where I'll show you how to get out of your airplane. So if you go to Walker, well actually, let's start by opening the door. You click on this right here, it's going to open your door. Now I'll go to Walker, you click on Walker, and then toggle Walker outside. Right Okay, so I'm right outside the plane. Can you use WSD to walk around? I think. Yeah, the USD. It's lagging a lot, but yeah. And while we're waiting for this to stop um, lagging. So you can get out, you can put on, oh this is bad, okay, you can put on the box, I think, yeah, you can put on the wheel, wheel chalk, I mean, sorry about that, and the plug, it's supposed to be able to put, yeah, there you go, you can take them off, I think, yeah, cow plug, You can tie down the plane by clicking on tie down. Make sure you take these off before you fly, but when you first start, it won't be tied down. And you can check your, um, you can check the fuel mixture and stuff. So yeah, that's how you walk around. I don't know, is there a way you can look at yourself? Let me check really fast. How do you look at yourself? I'm just looking around me. It's lagging so bad. I don't think I can really look at myself. I mean, oh, there you go. Yep, that's totally me. Uh, I don't think you really get the option, but can you change her? Oh, 
Какая с тобой? forgot to make this part and realize I need to make it. Like I said, like and subscribe if this helped.